found the floor to be the best lighting, so we're gonna work with it. Hello, I love gift giving, so this video is exciting to me to make because I have a lot of gift ideas that I think might be useful for some people. Gifts for the impossible giftee. Impossible gifties are someone who has everything or is really content with what they have. And you ask, oh, what do you want for Christmas? And they're like, oh, you don't have to get anything. And you're like, fuck. A great gift, which my dad actually got my family one year, and it was I thought it was a brilliant gift, is a Masterclass subscription. Masterclass is so cool. You can get a year-long subscription. It gives you access to all of these in-depth lessons of a variety of topics that you've always wanted to learn about. I did one from Diane von Furstenberg on fashion. I did, took the Bobby Brown makeup course. I took a meditation course. I took a negotiation leadership course. Really cool idea for someone who's always interested in learning and maybe they have a favorite celebrity that teaches something on it. I think it's a great gift. Another great gift for the impossible gifty would be a film camera. And you could get the disposable ones, but I think maybe kicking it up a notch would be getting an actual reusable film camera because they're better and better for the environment and it's something that they could reuse and, and kind of pick up maybe a hobby in film and photography. Some of them go for are really expensive, some of them aren't bad. So take a look on eBay um, or secondhand like Facebook Marketplace. I'm sure you're able to find some reasonable film cameras to create some memories. Okay, this next one, again, my dad got it for me for my birthday. I know I mentioned this in my last video but I think it's a great gift for the impossible gifty. It is a posture trainer. So if you, those of you who haven't seen me just talk about this, it's this little device with an adhesive on the back. You click the button and you put it on the back between your shoulder blades and it connects to your phone. So essentially this is the app. You set your posture. So this is my posture now. And then if you slouch, it kind of like shocks you a bit, like it buzzes. I don't know if you heard that. That was like the buzz it gives you. And you can track your stats throughout the day and see how much of the day you were slouching versus good posture. And it actually has been really cool to see your stats and watch how your posture improves. I would recommend this little device. I think it's like $100. And I think this is like the most basic model you can get. They have more advanced ones if you're interested. It's just kind of no one really thinks about their posture. I would challenge the impossible gift D that this would be something they'd be interested in. Another fantastic idea is maybe this could be for like your mom or something or sister as well get a gift card for someone to get a blowout i think i would i mean i would love to receive that a blowout a haircut whatever that is it's just a refresh that i think people would love to have and use it at their discretion who doesn't love a good blowout um another gift idea i have here is a subscription to their favorite magazine um, or publication new york times you can get them maybe a three-month subscription i think subscriptions in general are a really good gift for someone who's hard to buy for another idea is a phone case they have these really cool like puffer cases on this place called urban sophistication you can get them a fun phone case or case to buy has a few cool ones as well. Switching up your phone case is always fun. Gifts for your partner. I have nailed down some really key gifts, some really awesome gifts I think your partner will love. So the first thing being a really sick like toiletry kit, like a travel bag. You could make it a theme and put maybe like a cool moisturizer or lip balms in there and just give it to them like that. My next idea for a partner, if they're into sports, I would gift them a ticket to a sports game. I think experiences are the best gifts, so that would be kind of a gift to yourself and them to share that experience together. Also headphones. I feel like everyone likes the Apple Air Max headphones. It's a little expensive. I found these ones from Marshalls that I've seen that has good reviews and they look really cool. There's also this Yeti travel mug that I actually used at my friend's house and it's amazing so if you have an outdoorsy partner or even if they have some sort of like fire pit or something get them some yeti mugs because they keep things so warm or so cold along the lines of themes i think a cool cocktail gift if they're into that would be really fun so you could get them a few cocktail glasses maybe a cocktail recipe book and then sick coasters to go with it i really love these coasters i found on this place called cocktail emporium and they have the biggest selection of cocktail glasses books like bar carts 
bitters, like anything you want for cocktails, all the tools is there. So I would look at their website, it's really cool. Sunglasses, sunglasses are a great gift. This place called Crap Eyewear is a climate neutral company and they have the coolest sunglasses. I own a lot of them and I feel like buying someone a pair of funky sunglasses isn't necessarily what they'd buy themselves because they can be pricier, but that's why I think it'd be a great gift. And these sunglasses are actually really well priced and not crazy. I also recommend the favorite print. If they have a favorite artist, maybe they live in a, in a dorm right now or have their own apartment, getting them a framed print was a really great idea. Try to find it on Etsy. I think there's a lot of wiggle room in that department to find the size of print that works with your budget as well. Along the lines of experiences, I think just a gift card to your guys' favorite restaurant or if there's a cool food experience near where you live where you could do you know, a tasting menu, beer flights or cocktail flights, that would be just a fun experience that you don't really do every day. It's a bit pricier, but I think it'd be a really fun outing. Gifts that give back. It's important to understand where your money is going and what you're supporting. Get some really cool stuff, but it also at the same time support really great causes. The first one called the Everybody Campaign, and it was launched by Say, the beauty brand. And it's essentially like a collection of all these beauty brands that are on this website that you can shop but 100% of the proceeds are gonna go to reproductive rights. So it's in partnership with the Reproductive Justice Collective, Sister Song. This campaign is such a really great and important cause, especially after the year we've had. Say Beauty obviously is on there, has brands like Glow Recipe, Well People, Elf, and you can stock up on some of your favorite beauty items while supporting this great cause. Next, shopping for some new clothes. One of my favorite stores is Reformation. They are all about shopping sustainably. It has a lot of really fun and cute things because Sustainability does not mean boring. So I appreciate what Reformation's doing and I would recommend. They have some really cute t-shirts here that I'll show on the screen. Those are kind of more affordable, more, more affordable. They also have really yummy looking cashmere sweaters that I want and can't afford right now, but a girl can dream. And I love their jeans. Their denim is unmatched in my opinion, so. I would take a look at Reformation if you're looking to get some new clothing. It is supporting sustainable sourced clothing. If you're gonna support a beauty brand, consider Rare Beauty. I feel like everyone knows about Rare Beauty, but you may not know that the brand has this thing called the Rare Impact Fund, that 1% of all their um, sales goes towards this mental health fund that gives mental health resources to people and education around mental health. I've heard a lot of great things about their blushes. I haven't tried it, but I have tried some other things from them before and it's really high quality. From Miss Selena Gomez. Another thing to be conscious of for the environment, brand Good & Well Supply is a candle and incense Place. These are environmentally friendly candles. They source all of their materials locally. The tins can be reused and recycled. It's really, really awesome candles that have these national park names on them. And they're just really cool designed and they have really interesting scents that I've never seen before. So just a sustainable candle that looks really chic and cool. And they're also vegan. Lastly, from this category, there's this brand called, I'm gonna mess it up. Zoo and a zoo. but there's these really really cool ballet flats. I think ballet flats are coming back and there's these really cool cherry red ballet flats that I love and I think they have a lot of really cool shoes there. This brand is a black owned company so you're supporting this, that minority and you're getting some really cute shoes in the process. Take a look at their site. I know I'll be browsing it. Gifts for your best friend. I found this girl on Etsy who makes the cutest mugs, handmade mugs. It comes with like a little plate and the mug on top of it and it's hand painted. I think that'd be so cute. I think mugs in general are just a really cute, relatively inexpensive gift to give. And you can maybe make it a theme and do, give them a bag of cool coffee beans or some tea to make it a whole thing. So would definitely recommend checking out this girl's shop on Etsy. Another fun BFF gift I feel like would be a pottery class for you guys. Again, a really fun experience to do together. Something I just think would be like a load of fun. Creative, it's something you do, don't do every day and it would be a good time for you guys to connect and just pottery it out. Maybe you make a mug, there you go. Okay, I know I talk about Glossier a lot, but who wouldn't like to receive Glossier for Christmas? Glossier has released a bunch of like holiday kits that look very tempting. I also think their essentials kit is a really good introduction to Glossier if your friend has never tried it before. And then along the same lines as like makeup, Sephora always kills it with their kits. I found this Charlotte Tilbury one that has 
a really beautiful shimmery eyeshadow little talk liner and lipstick that they've gone famous for so that would be a really beautiful kit i also think nail polish is a fun idea but if you don't want to just get nail polish from like the drugstore I found this uh, brand called J Hanna, which I own one polish from them and really love it. They have a really beautiful website and you can get a kit of maybe three or five nail polishes and they're really high quality and their shades are amazing. Another idea would be a coffee table book. I feel like people don't buy coffee table books a lot for themselves, but it's a really fun gift. Some of the fashion ones like the Prada one, the Ghani one, Gucci, there's a lot of really fun ones. So definitely lots of brows there and you can get it at Chapters Indigo or even order it on Amazon. However, I've ordered coffee table books on Amazon before and they come kind of like the edges from the shipping kind of come smashed in. So I'd recommend going in person to find a coffee table book. Cool candles, can't go wrong with cool candles or a certain Shapes of candles that are more for decor versus lighting it. The artistic, like squiggly, like woo candles. Or again, Urban Outfitters has a lot of cool looking candles. I think they had like a Christmas tree one that I saw online, which was cute. If you're a really good friend, you would get them Skims. Skims is life-changing. And they also have these holiday packs, uh, bundles, I guess. I have their tank top and I see that they have a bundle on Skims that has like a bundle of three tank tops. So that would be an excellent gift, one that I'm sure they'll appreciate, although they have really cool soft pajamas and just loungewear that's really great. So if you're willing to spend a bit more, I would check out Skims as a gift because they do everything right. And then lastly, if you're like me and you're on a budget, I have a category for gifts on a budget. These gifts cost very little or if anything, nothing. And I think are the best types of gifts because they're often experiences. My first idea would be a museum date. A lot of museums or wherever you're located are probably free. And if they're not free, they're relatively inexpensive to get in. I think a mu museum date would be a fun idea. Take your partner with, your friend with, family members, whatever it may be. My next idea is a camping trip. They have campsites that go on sale relatively early and you can actually book a campsite for, I wanna say, $30 a night. So if you go for two nights or you could split it with a group of friends, it becomes pretty inexpensive. And again, it's creating an experience and a memory for everyone. So I recently got Muji pens. Muji pens are the best pens to get. They make you feel like a bad bleep and they're functional and they're inexpensive. I got them from the Muji store. You can get them a really fun agenda planner if they're into planning like that for the new year and you can give them some Muji pens. And I think that would be a kick-ass gift that won't cost a lot. Lastly, I think accessories are fun and often forgotten about. Get someone a little matching hat and mitts. They have them from Aritzia that are pretty inexpensive. A really fuzzy, yummy scarf would also be great. Fuzzy socks, so the accessories like that in little stocking stuffers, I think are really great ideas for Christmas if you're on a budget. That is my short but sweet gift guide. I hope you found it helpful. I'll link all my suggestions below. Be intentional with where you put your hard earned money and and try to give back where you can. Experiences are the best gifts always. I hope you guys have a happy holiday season and happy shopping.